Hello, this is Sodic, and this is the uh, demo tutorial video for the Sodic Delta version 1.15 changes. I'm not going to do a whole video over every single thing that this does, but just what's different. What did I add? Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to be useful to everyone, but the Delta info can now persist across sessions. And that means if you disconnect from an online session or you're racing offline and then you start a new session that whatever previous Delta information that you had created is now available. And the idea is that um, I do league races. So like on Monday nights, I have to do a qualifying session. Over the course of the week, I'm trying to set a fast lap uh, offline, maybe on the server or something of that nature. Um, and now I can have the data stored in a file. So when I load up the session, I immediately have that uh, performance delta information available. I don't want to say fastest lap information available because that's not how my delta works exactly. Um, but you can have this performance delta information available. Um, and you'll have to, if you're using this feature, it's probably going to take a little bit of getting used to how this operates in the confines and limitations of how my delta operates because there are quirks uh, of its behavior which it makes sense to me because I wrote it, but it may not be obviously uh, sensible to you. And you may think, oh, a Delta shouldn't work that way, but it's just how it works. So demonstration, I'm going to load this session up. And we're going to let the car use the default setup, which is maybe not appropriate for driving Monza, but it'll be fine for demonstrating how the Delta works. Um, so I'm going to let the AI go ahead and take off here, and then we'll be able to see up here it's loading the Delta Info. And as soon as I pass call start finish, it starts calculating the Delta, which normally would not happen. Normally, you have to drive a couple laps before this would start to calculate its delta, but now we get it right away. Um, using the hotkeys, you can still zero it out. So I hit my uh, my hotkey to zero it. You can reload the delta from file. So that'll reload the Delta information. So let's say you totally blew this corner and you didn't drive on track, you drove across that part and you gained time that way. Well, you wouldn't want to save that Delta. You would want to reload the Delta from file um, so that you retained that information for your best, the previous best Delta. Um, and so that's going to be one of the peculiarities of trying to use this feature is that if you do mess up a corner and gain time and go into the green, well, that delta information is no good. And so you have to get rid of it. And the way that you get rid of it would be to reload the delta from disk. And of course, you're never driving with, with this uh, console, uh, but it gives you the information that I just reloaded the delta information. And of course, the AI is probably not going to blow a corner, so we just kind of have to imagine what if he did. Um, but this is the way around that problem. Uh, let's say you're driving in a T1 here at Monza. You may be really pushing to find that breaking point. And if you do it wrong, you're going to go straight instead of taking the chicane. And if you went straight, you can gain time. And it would totally throw off the information in the Delta. And you wouldn't want to keep that. And so the way that you get rid of it is by reloading the delta from disk. So that's how that works. Um, and I now have two hotkey buttons. And you can see the first delta hotkey 2 is called, as opposed to when I do this, perf delta hotkey 1 was called. Um, so we'll hop out and we'll go back to... I use joy to key. And you can see here, uh, Exotic Delta is zero clear. 
that's my button 13 control in is the hotkey for doing a zero like as you're driving a lap let's say you mess up a corner but you want to zero your delta so you can see your relative performance over the rest of the lap well you would use the zero zero it out to your current delta and then you can sort of see up and down from there with the following corners going around the track if you double click the control in hotkey like this then it should clear your delta information so then when you get to the end of your session it would be fresh delta information that got written to file it would basically disregard anything that was in whichever file here mattered like if you were running on soft tires it would overwrite everything in this delta file if you were persisting delta information and you loaded it up it would pers it would load all that data from file and then if you got one corner better you know and you got up into the green well then everything after that would be new data until you actually migrated back below the zero mark and then it would be the delta information from file I know it's a little complicated it's it's kind of hard to wrap your brain around just me talking about it but the only potential downside to use a persisting your delta information is if you did blow a corner uh, you went off track you did something illegal and you gained time and you forgot to clear it that information would then be persisted in your delta and you would have to somehow realize it while driving and then you know double click the hotkey and clear that out so then but then you would have to redo your delta information from scratch um, So yeah, I think that's all the information. Uh, we covered persisting across um, sessions. Uh, this is off by default because it is kind of an advanced feature and it can cause, I think it could pretty much cause confusion if you didn't know it was operating and you didn't know what it was doing and you'd probably be frustrated and thought it was nonsense. So if you have to go turn it on, hopefully then you'll know at least a little bit of Oh, that this could be occurring and what you have to do to manage the persistent delta info. And there used to be just be one hotkey. It was control F10. I went ahead and changed the hotkeys to just get off of the, uh, the F keys just to not be on there. And so I'm using control N and control B um, now. Control N for the zero and clear and control B for the reloading delta from file. And hotkeys are on by default. And of course, if you're not persisting data, trying to reload the data from delta from file won't do anything. So anyway, that's that. Sonic Delta version 1.15 should be on Race Department. I'll put links in the uh, description below the video. If you have any questions, please post to the Race Department support thread. And if you like the content, please donate to me on PayPal. Thank you.